Let's just go down the rabbit hole here for a second. Let's just assume this is some sort of adversarial or foreign technology. October 1st, 2021, breaking down the best UFOs that were just given to third phase moon. Let's start out with this one. Check it out. I'm digging this one. We got a good look at it and we're seeing this cylindrical shape again, these flying craft that make really no sense of propulsion. They're basically defying gravity. The flight characteristics seem intelligent. It has a kind of a purpose of where it's going. We're going to get a couple looks at this. Now we got contrast with some contrast to make it pop. You can see that again, this object is traversing the skies. It's a beautiful day. It's a great capture. You can see the clouds, the cumulus clouds, and what comes up next is going to blow your mind. We see the craft just moving and watch this. We get a close up and you see another traveler. Could that be a drone? It's hard to tell, but it seems like another anomaly up in the sky while we're capturing this great evidence right here at third phase. What's your thoughts in the chat? What is this? Again, we, we need to look at this a little closer and longer. Anybody out there, have you seen a craft like this? You let us know. Again, we don't see propulsion of any, any sort. We don't see any trail that's leading behind it, leaving a wake of exhaust. We don't see any wings, which again, leans to something that seems otherworldly. Again, we know about the Tic Tac and this kind of has a resemblance of the Tic Tac itself, most definitely. Could this be it? We'll have to throw it out there too as well. Could this be somebody's piece of work, a CGI? That's a possibility, but I'm really not seeing it. I see the rotation of the camera and, and kind of the zoom in capability would be difficult to pull off in CGI. You'd basically notice it. Everything seems to be matching in a coordinates and I'm leaning towards this being the real deal. Now let's get up to this next video. This, another one really has a scratch in our head. Check it out. We noticed the two orbs up there just floating in the sky. At first I thought this could be just maybe Chinese lanterns, but then we see this anomaly, this fading of light. It kind of just like it feels transparent, something weird, organic up in the sky. Very curious sighting. It makes me wonder what's going on around the world. These captures that are coming in so fast, it makes you think, could they not be hiding anymore? That's what we've been saying recently, and I'm leaning towards that being the truth. Now, let's get to this other interesting video here. Check it out. Here's a good close-up. We can see these lights against strange atmospheric phenomena. Could this be what we're looking at? We see these pulsating white orbs of light that are seem what seems like they're connected, like it's basically a one craft itself. And again, we're not seeing drone capabilities or techniques. It's a weird sighting and I'm leaning towards this being again, something that's unexplained. UAPs, UFOs, you call it what you want. We're looking at something, it's a phenomenon. Now take a look at this. We just received this video a couple hours ago and people are posting this all over the net, passing this off as a real deal. There's been people in the field that have actually called it for what it is. Lions Ground did a report on it a couple of hours ago. He nailed it and I'm gonna agree with him. What we're seeing is this flares dropping from the sky. There's been reports of military action and people on the ground that confirmed this. So we don't need to panic that they're invading our cities. We're just looking at flares that typically we see over cities that actually get the people riled up. They think this is something else. But in fact, uh, we call this one and appreciate the submission. But let's get to the next video. Check this one out. I like it.
you may have seen this before, but we're gonna check it out again because there's something about this that's always fascinated me. Look at the colors and the look of it. It almost reminds me of the Close Encounters moving. You see this bluish white light to the left that creates this kind of fog light look that's maybe it's going into the clouds that's creating this effect and then you see the other orb following it. It's just a curious video. I really like this one. What's your thoughts? This has been around for some time. Is this legit? Because if it is, it's fantastic footage. Some people have stated that this is maybe a reflection in the glass and that somebody's just trying to pull a fast one. And that's a possibility, but I'm liking the camera work and the shaking of the camera. To have something projected on the glass, you would see parallaxing. This seems to be stuck up in the sky and it's static. Could it also be CGI? Again, that's a possibility itself, but I'm on the fence, but I wanted to share it with you guys. What's your opinion? Now let's get to this next video. Check this out. cigar-shaped UFOs over the plains. This is a really good capture. The person that's actually filming it's doing a really good job. He's holding it steady under the circumstances. Unfortunately, it goes behind the building. We don't get much more of what was captured, but again, we see this cylindrical-like object just floating in the sky. And uh, again, I don't see a gondola on this to represent maybe a blimp, a Goodyear blimp. This looks like something different. Could it be another new hybrid of balloons that's a possibility a weather apparatus that we're not familiar with but then again we are talking ufos and i'm looking at something that's unidentified so i'm liking this one a lot this is cool because we're getting these uh, on a constant rate these cigar shaped ufos if you missed last night's episode you might want to check that out because there's a pretty good one that was on there especially the one that we just played earlier there's it's just they're coming in masses and sometimes they're unidentified and sometimes we call it for what it is this one again is a very cool ufo now we're going to follow up with something that was discovered on the moon during the apollo landing and this one kind of caught our attention and i think you'll find it rather interesting these high-res photos reveal something on the lunar surface check this out sharing this right now to the world there is a big mystery what are we looking at some people are saying this is some kind of stargate that opened up for a split second we have two photographs and right there is the apollo 17 mission just above the lunar surface making its way to landing on the moon did we land on the moon well some people say we did it but that's another story altogether now we've got this photograph and again we're gonna pan to the left and some people are saying this mysterious object appeared out of nowhere. We have evidence to prove this theory. Right now, take a look at this. We're going to back up again, get a good look at the whole picture surrounding this mystery. What is this circular object? Okay, a few seconds before this photograph, and then we're zooming in. This is two or three seconds before the shot with whatever this circular object was. Now it's gone. All right, we're gonna do some enhancements here. It's a bit tricky, but we're gonna try and line it up as best as possible with the craters and the lunar surface and boom, here we go. Take a look at this. Side-by-side -side comparisons. Within two seconds, the object is there. Prior to the shot, it is gone. What is going on here? Could uh, this just popped out in existence? to observe the Apollo mission 17. Uh, Brent, what's your thoughts here? This is outstanding. Yeah, whatever it is, Blake, you can tell that it's actually there. Look at that side-by-side -side comparison of it actually disappearing. Whatever this is, this circular object leaves a shadow. And then you see it's gone right here within moments of the Apollo 17 flying over. 
All right, we're gonna pull it back up again. Uh, the original photograph, okay. This is the second photograph where you see this circular object over there to the left and just kind of hiding uh, behind the hills there on the moon. Again, it almost looks like a black donut or some kind of wheel. Again, you kind of see some kind of weird uh, anomaly on top of it. Yeah, this is good. I like this close up. It's an amazing photo if it's real deal. Um, this is quite exciting. What we're looking at, that circular object. How big is it? Uh, I'd compare it to, we're looking at the Apollo 17. This thing's gotta be pretty big. I would say at least 24 feet, maybe even bigger, 30 feet. I see no trail either, did it? How did it appear? Did it roll into place? Yeah, no impact uh, whatsoever. Again, here's the photograph right before and then after. We're doing the side-by-side -side comparisons. Again, this mystery just uh, continues and I don't think NASA is yet to explain exactly what this anomaly is. Okay, so we're gonna again zoom up on the exact location and do the side-by-side -side comparison. It was a bit tricky to get these two photographs to line up exactly, but we managed to pull it off and then after further investigation, doing the analysis of these photographs, we could do this side-by-side -side comparison and prove that this thing just basically dropped out of the sky or appeared out of nowhere. Is it coming maybe from uh, within the lunar surface itself and doing kind of like a peekaboo on the Apollo mission 17 to the moon? Brent, any last thoughts on these photos? Yeah, some people might say it's just dust on the lens. You know what? I don't think so. Like I said, you can see that definite shadow there. It's there, whatever it is. Again, the mystery, what happened to this? Is it still there after the fact? Well, this is something we need to share to the world and we just did. Now, Austria. This video baffles the mind. Just take a look at this. All right, let's take a look at this again. Some people are saying these are drones. Well, this was captured a few years ago, but it's the first time that we're sharing it right here at Third Phase Moon. And I got a feeling these aren't drones or any kind of commercial airliners uh, coming in in your direction with the headlights. Th these things actually leave some kind of trail behind it. And when you see it interact with the clouds above, it actually lights it up, almost lights the clouds on fire. Take a look at this. We're slowing this down and there it is. The refraction of light off the clouds. And then if you notice right there behind it, it's almost like leaving some kind of trail behind it. You see that circular black trail behind these lights? Are these flares, Brent? Yeah, some people might even say it's a reflection off the window, but uh, that's not the case. We're looking at something that's really there. I don't think they're drones, but what kind of emissions is it leaving behind an exhaust it's weird look at that it just lit it up you could see the refraction of light off the clouds so this is definitely not a reflection from the car uh, passenger seat here it seems like the windows rolled down and what amazes me too is how these things basically just take off look at this they take off and just basically disappear there we go, they're gone. People, what's your thoughts? This is uh, some incredible UFO video that we're looking at right now from Austria. I wanna get your comments below. What do you think is going on in the skies? Are these just simply drones? I don't think so. Drones just don't disappear and I've never seen drones light up the clouds or leave these kind of uh, trails behind it. All right, any last thoughts on this? Yeah, I'm thinking, would alien technology even leave an exhaust? I'm thinking this is probably more of our own man-made, but still maybe a little reverse engineering, the way they just take off into like some sort of hyperdrive, the way they disappear. And that acceleration is amazing. Hmm. Oh, yeah, look, huh? It's 
você sumiu. Hum. Ah, só que não tem, a câmera não tem esse poder de filmar. De conseguir aproximar. Oh, agora tá só uma. So we've got some other videos coming up, but I want to get everybody's opinion in the live premiere that we're doing on the side and in the comments below of what we just witnessed. And I want to get Brent's thoughts. Do you think uh, these are drones up in the skies? What's this all about? What could cause this? Wow, what are these culminations of strange lights? You could see a pattern and if these are connected, it would be a huge starcraft. I'm looking at the distance and it seems to be maybe about a mile away from the cameraman and if that's the case we're looking at something that's very large hovering in the sky. Yeah, I'm trying to wrap my brain around exactly what we're looking at. Could it be possibly a drone suspending uh, light LED lights and creating some kind of a spectacle in the sky, some kind of hoax somebody's trying to pull off? I'm not sure. It doesn't seem so. We don't hear any kind of a drone sounds whatsoever. Um, I'm still trying to figure out what it is and again that's why we're opening up the chat below and the chat in the premiere so we could get your opinions of what we're looking at right here at third phase of moon we get a lot of ufo sightings and like i said we don't get it right all the time and probably we hardly get it right we just we're getting it out as fast as possible and that's our goal uh, we've got another video for you. you guys take a look at this it's coming in from new zealand we don't know what this is it's like three lights hovering what the frick is that? Oh my gosh, that's creepy, eh? Is that hovering over Porirua? The story behind this video gets kind of interesting because it wasn't just one person, it was a whole neighborhood that witnessed these lights. It was early in the hours in Porirua when Theodora Fafia left home and spotted three lights hovering up in the dark skies above her town. She didn't know what it was. She is with her cousin and they both spotted the lights and they were wondering what it was. She filmed them on her phone and for a few seconds spotted the same thing. She was uh, leaving home in the morning. She says when she spotted these big lights just hovering over her city, she doesn't have a clue what it could be, but people are wondering, could this be extraterrestrial in origin? One person comments and said they saw, but no one had a definite theory on what these lights were. Uh, they said they were very creepy, but again, the town has no idea what these were. And this happened just moments ago, and the New Zealand paper picked up on it. So the local media is sharing this story, but I want to get more people on the ground over there. If they witness this, I want to get your videos. You got to send it over to me right here at Third Phase of Moon because uh, right away I'm going to rule out any kind of parachuters, pyrotechs. No, this is something else. These lights seem to remain stationary. Brent, I want to get your thoughts. What do you think is going on here? Yeah, I like the way she actually zoomed up on the UFO and it really captured her eye. And then she went down to record the time that this happened. So it gives a approximate time for people in the New Zealand area to know if they caught the same event. And what I'm looking at is a series of lights that really resemble nothing as of drones or something that's in our assets. What we're looking at is something that can't be explained, Blake. Like, what is that? That's crazy. See that? That's as steady as I can get. But I don't understand what the hell that thing is, man. I try to get on the roof of my, of my uh, job. I can't get on the roof to see what it is. But it's about 5, 5.15 at, at, in the afternoon. This shit is crazy. I'm gonna try to get a closer look at it, but whatever the fuck it is, it's crazy as it's sitting there. In the middle of the damn sky, it's not a helicopter or nothing. Just sitting there. I'm gonna see if I can get a better angle. All right, y'all. I'm back at it, I'm a little closer, but I still can't see like what the the hell it is, it's just moving. I really can't tell what it is though, it's too, it's too fuzzy out here. I'm holding the camera as slow as I can. And it's like moving a little bit back and forth, it's crazy. Let me zoom out a little bit. See, it is moving though, back and forth, like just hanging in the air. I just can't get a close up look on it. See it's moving? Third. 
This some weird shit. And I can't get a no closer look on it. Damn. Wish I could, but whatever it is. It's just in the sky hovering. We're going back and forth. And it got like some kind of light emitting from it. Some kind of light was in the back of it. I just can't get a closer look or a better shot. It's going to seem kind of crazy. Let's just go down the rabbit hole here for a second. Let's just assume this is some sort of adversarial or foreign technology. So I'll see the same shit I most of the more than 120 incidents over the past two decades are not from the U.S. military or other advanced U.S. government technology. It's right in front of me. It just disappears. Oh, disappears. Oh, disappears. Oh, like gone. They clear he's referring to this giant object as a as a tic tac instead of a shape like one. We don't know what these things are, and they might even be extraterrestrial. 